Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not met me before, my name is Odaga Johnson and I have a business called Verizolt and at Verizolt, I help aspiring and established professionals to start and grow successful careers in project management. I also have a nine to five and I'm one of the directors at my organization where I lead various project initiatives. Today, guess what? You're gonna come to work with me. So basically, I work a hybrid for my nine to five. So go to work Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays in the office and work from home Mondays and Fridays. So that's really comfortable and, um, you know, makes the work-life balance a lot better. For my business, I and my staff, we work remote, okay? And the good thing also with my nine to five is that summer hours, we actually work reduced hours. So we get every other Friday off. And today is one of those Fridays. So I'm working fully today remotely for very result, leading various projects and initiatives and programs that we do. So here's how we go. So let's start the day. I start the day by checking my emails. I sort through them and I actually have various folders. So I have like urgent, important, leisure, not important. So while sorting through my emails, I put them in their various folders. And for the urgent ones, I respond to them like immediately. And for those that are not important, I just stick note of them. Or if I still have time, I respond to them. And I typically do this checking of my emails and sorting through them for about 30 minutes uh, once I start the day. So up next, I have a daily standup with my team. And because we're working remotely, you can imagine that we're all in different countries and time zones. And sometimes as a project manager, you may find yourself in a situation where your team members are in different time zones and just geographically spread. And that's a situation I find myself in. So as a team, we decided to do what we call a text daily standup. So instead of the typical, you know, joining a call and doing your standup, we decided to just send a text using our staff chat platform. So every morning, everyone sends in what they did yesterday, what they plan to do today, any issues, and also what they plan to do tomorrow, if no. So this way, we're still kept informed about what we're all doing. We're micro-committing to each other. We're aware of what's going on, and it helps us to just align our tasks to the project goals and priorities. And this activity usually takes about 15 minutes for us. I recently shared five things I wish I knew as a new project manager. Now, these five things have made me to become a better project manager. The video is going to pop up, so like, check it out, watch it, right? Now, one of the things that I shared there, like the fifth point, is being flexible and adaptable. Now, a few years ago, in my typical and rigid project management mind, I would never have said yes to a tech daily stand-up. Like, what is that? <laughs> But I'm learning to, you know, listen to my people, listen to my project team and be willing to, you know, change and be flexible to the ways that I work and to work in a way that, you know, best suits the people that I'm working with. As long as we'll be able to deliver the project, then why not change? And, you know, one thing is that at the end of the day, the people are going to deliver the project. The people are the greatest assets of the company. So be willing to be flexible and adaptable in your ways of working towards suits everyone and ensure that everyone is comfortable with it. Meetings, meetings, meetings. <laughs> Today I have lots of meetings. I would say that I spend typically like 75% of my time in meetings. And you know what? That's okay. Like meetings for a project manager are not a waste of time. You know, meetings are a core part of your work because you use meetings to communicate, you use meetings to influence people to get work done. So meetings are very, very important. So first up today, I have a partner's update meeting. These are the big guys, literally. <laughs> so they're my key stakeholders and I have a meeting with them to keep them updated about the project. And hey, we have a big decision to make in our meeting today. So wish me luck. It's meeting time and my key stakeholders are on the call now. They form the steering committee for one of the projects I'm leading and I'm facilitating the meeting. I usually start with small talk, chit chat first in my meeting just to get everyone, you know, chilled out and then we go into the key discussion so i have some recommendations to make because of some issues we're encountering on the project and um, i'm just presenting it to everyone and i'm going to allow everyone to decide by voting and then we'll make a decision it should be fun meeting is over i'm happy about the outcome of the meeting we made a decision and i think i'm very happy about it so i'm gonna run off and take like a five to 10 minutes break just to really stretch my legs and to 
get a glass of water because you know you need to stay hydrated throughout the day and as pms we are talking 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 so sometimes stand up stretch and take a glass of water okay I have 30 minutes before my next meeting, so I'm going to catch up on some emails. Emails are one of the ways I communicate on projects. So basically, the project manager's role involves up to 90% of communication, whether you're communicating by email, communicating in meetings, in person, over the phone, you are always communicated. Oops, meeting time. I got to go now. We're having a brainstorming meeting to develop ideas as we begin planning one of the projects. I personally enjoy brainstorming. It's always fun. So as a team, we decided to brainstorm before this meeting individually and write out our ideas. So by basically doing this, during the meeting now, we're going to, you know, we're using a whiteboard. So on the whiteboard, we're just going to write out all our ideas. And then once we're done writing up ideas on the whiteboard, we're going to discuss all ideas. Now, we love doing this because this way, no idea is left out. All ideas are considered. And no one is shy to say the idea before I start discussing because all ideas are already on the board. And this normally is exciting. All right, it is time for lunch. I'm excited to take this break. I usually take 45 minutes to an hour for my lunch break. So, yay, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. <laughs> I always ensure I have lunch and I take that lunch break because it's essential to just refuel, recharge before you start the next half of the day. So for the next part, I have about two hours of focused work right now. I will be updating my product management tool. At work, we use ClickUp for managing our projects. So right now I'm just reviewing the status of the projects within my portfolio. I'm also like reaching out to the various project leads for updates and updating um, what the status of the project is as needed. I really just want to ensure that my portfolio is reflective of the current status. Next, I'm preparing some status reports for the week. Now, the reporting frequency varies on my projects. So for some, I provide weekly updates, some bi-weekly, some monthly, and some quarterly. It's usually dependent on the funding organization, the project, or the client's needs. Now for this particular project status reports that I am preparing on one of my projects, it is so critical the way I communicate about it. And um, if you want to know more about like project status reports, what it looks like, what it should contain, you can check out my video on project documents and it will pop up shortly. You, <laughs> that ended up taking longer than I'd imagined. Like, I think I needed quick five to 10 minutes break. So basically the, one of the reports that I was writing on, I needed to talk about the issues and challenges we've been having and suggest some significant changes. And, you know, as a project manager, you run into issues, you encounter this and you have to communicate these things and be transparent to your clients. So I had to ensure that the way I communicate about these issues, the way I tell it, you know, it's in a way that will ensure that the client is not resistant to the change, but, you know, supports the change. You know, your client's the key stakeholder and they could be resistant to changes because you're not communicating in the right way. So you need to ensure that you communicate properly. So I literally was writing only like maybe a, a page that I spent so long on it because I changed and I changed and I changed. But I think I came to a place where the information I was communicating was clear. And I think when my client sees it, they'll really understand that these changes are essential. So I think it went well. All right. So now I have 30 minutes more before wrapping up the day. And I'm just going to check my emails and respond to urgent emails. Wow. I don't really have many emails this evening. So I was going to read through all the important emails I have in my important folder. I'll respond to more of them. And, um, you know, just do that. If I can't finish it, I always have tomorrow morning to do it. So that's fine. And maybe I'll take some time to just read through the leisure folder. I just kept informed on trends and things that happen in the industry. Okay. So this is the end of the day. Success. <laughs> Another day in the books. And I'm so glad about all that was achieved today. Now, one thing about role of a project manager is that no two days are the same. And for me, that makes my role very exciting. 
and makes me to look forward to tomorrow. So thank you so much for coming to work with me today. I'm so happy and I'm so excited you did it. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed recording it because nah, it was fun to share my life with you. So thank you so much. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, to share, to leave a comment and um, subscribe. And if you are interested in project management, learning more about it, I have lots of videos about project management. So do check them out. And if you do, I'll see you shortly. Bye.